Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. So today we're talking about custom skins on your DCS aircraft. So I've already created two videos. One here explained how to download and install custom plane skins for DCS World. So that is from the official Eagle Dynamics website. There are loads of files there that you can download, loads of skins for all of the aircraft you can download. And I show how to download them, where to put them and how to install them. Then another one, how to create your own skin from scratch and how to install it. And I'll link both of these two videos in the video description of the one you're watching now. But what we're talking about now is that for both of these videos here, there are two methods of actually installing the skins. There's installing it in your game directory and installing it in your C drive users. Both of these I show installing the skins in your C drive users. That's where you should be putting them. Yes, you can put them in your game directory, but I always recommend against it. It's always a bad idea and it will invariably lead to corrupting your DCS and having to reinstall it. And so bearing in mind that I always recommend installing it in your C drive users, one thing that's been causing you guys a lot of trouble is exactly how you name the folders, the containing folders for the different aircraft you have to get the syntax exactly right and it is an absolute black art of how to do it so i'm going to show you how to do it in this video so let's move on where do we install these skins we install them in your c drive and users and for me that's my name there and save games and dcs it may be dcs open beat for you it's dcs for me and liveries if you don't have a folder called liveries Put one in and make it spelt just the same as I've got there. And these are the containing folders and they have to be spelt exactly as I've got them here. Now I don't think they're case sensitive so you could have a capital F and a capital W but just for safety keep them exactly as I've got here. That should be all of the modules available. Now it doesn't tell you anywhere how to spell these so I've had to basically just trial and error. I've been sitting here all day trying all the different combinations of syntax and these are the ones that have worked. If you change them just one letter difference they no longer work. So the idea of this video is that you now just take a snapshot of my screen and you can keep this safe here and now you know exactly what to name all of these folders. Now it's prudent to point out that these are not, and this is so typical of your dynamics, these are not the same, these are not spelt the same as they are in the game directory. So let's call up another uh, window here with the game directory. And this is the game directory. I've got it on, it's called an eDrive, DCS World, and we're going to go into mods, we're going to go into aircraft. So let's have a for instance. So in the game directory, it's called F14, okay? Whereas for the liveries in the C drive, it has to be spelt F14B. For example, the F18 in the game directory is FA18C, or FA-18C. In the liveries in the C drive, it has to be spelled FA-18C underscore Hornet. Change one of those letters, it will no longer work. And you'll find just the same thing throughout the uh, Gazelle SA342. In here, it has to be, where are we, SL, SA342L, M, minigun, and sorry, I've forgotten what the other variation is. There's another one, F80, F-86 in the game directory. In here, liveries, it has to be exactly F-86, F space, Sabre. Nothing else will work. Here, C101. Here, C101, dash CC or EB, depending on your version. So that's an example of how this here in your C drive. Liveries is not the same as the game. So don't rely on the game to give you the correct syntax. Okay, these should all be right. The only one I haven't tested is the I-16. I couldn't find any I-16 skins to test, but I'm 90% sure I-16 should work. Okay, that's it. So save that somewhere as a JPEG or something, and then uh, you'll know exactly what to call all of your C drive livery folders, containing folders. I hope that helps and see you later.